Okay, so last week we found fractions of a whole number when we could divide evenly. For example, if we look at one half of eight, most of us know that we can, we figured out the pattern, that we can do eight and divide it by our denominator of two, which would give us four, or if we were to use a model, we draw one hole and split it into half, and then we take our eight counters and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And since I'm only looking at one half, my answer would be four. Today we are looking at when it doesn't divide evenly. So we can still use the same pattern. We still could say that we're really doing nine divided by two. Which remember, our dividend nine actually goes in the numerator and our divisor of two excuse me, actually goes in the denominator. And then this is an improper fraction, so if we were to make it into a mixed number, you would ask yourself, how many times can two go into nine? It can go in four whole times with the remainder of one, but remember we want to rem write our remainder as a fraction. So we get one in our numerator, and then two stays in our denominator. So the answer would be four and a half. Again, if I was to ask you to draw a model for it though, we could again draw a rectangle. We are gonna split it in half, since it says half of nine. And then we are gonna take our counters again, and we're going to count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have this one. I'm going to draw him larger. I have this last counter. And I can't just decide which side to put them in. I have to be fair. When we're dividing, we're sharing it equally. So then I'm going to take the counter and break it into half since I have two sections I need to share it with. So if I break it into half, half goes to this side and half goes to this side. So that is how we get four and a half for half of nine. And four. So let's look at a few other ones. What if I asked you one third of twelve? So if I asked you to draw a model of it, I again would draw a rectangle. But this time, instead of breaking it into halves, I'm asking for one third. So I'm breaking it into thirds. And then I'm going to take my counters and distribute them equally. So I have of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I can see that one third, which is just one section of this, 
is going to be 4. Or, for some of you, if you do the number sentence, 12 divided by 3 is really what we were doing to get 4. If we look at our second one, it is one third of 13. So again, I am going to draw my rectangle. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to break it into thirds because it asks for one third. But this time, my whole number is 13. So again, if I draw out my counters, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, and then I need to get to 13. So again, I have this leftover counter out here because I can't just put them in one of these. I have to be fair because we are sharing equally when we're talking about dividing. So this time, it's being broken to thirds. So what do you think I should break this last counter into? If you said thirds, that was correct. So I need to break this last counter into thirds. So then a piece goes there, a piece goes there, and a piece goes there. So if I'm looking at one third of 13, I have four and a third. Or I could also write a division number sentence as 13 divided by 3, remember your dividend is your numerator, your divisor is your denominator, so 13 thirds, but we don't want to leave it as an improper fraction, we want to make it into a mixed number, so how many times can 3 go into 13? We saw that it can go in 4 whole times evenly. With the remainder of 1, and our remainder goes in the numerator, denominator stays 3. So that's how we can get 4 and a third also. Let's try one more with a picture. So I want to make sure that you understand why it works. So if I'm finding 1 third of 14, ooh, that rectangle's a little crazy. Again, I'm breaking it into one third since that's what my fraction is. But this time I'm sharing 14 counters. Let's go yellow this time. So go ahead and share them evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I have 13 and 14. That's not enough. I can put 13 and 14 there, but that leaves this guy out. So I can't put them in. I'm going to actually have to put them outside because I don't have enough to divide them evenly. So if I do that, I can then split each counter. I'm going to split each counter into thirds. And then this counter whoop, into thirds. I'm sure yours will be nicer. It's a little hard on the computer. And then one third from this counter is going to go to that one. And one third from this counter is going to go to that one. One third will go from this one. One third will go from this one one-third and one-third. So now I have four holes, but this time instead of just one-third, since I have two extras, I have two-thirds. 
So 4 and 2 thirds is what 1 third of 14 is. 